now TMZ presents Diana Ross in Stop in the Name of Possible Nuclear Holocaust. Did you get an alert in, in Hawaii? Yes, that, we did. And it, we was it scary? Wait, yes, we were very frightened. That's Miss Ross returning from a vacation in Hawaii that included the huge laying out, a little windsurfing, receiving a text alert that there's going to be a nuclear war, so prepare to die. Aloha, wish you were here. She was there while oh, the God. false alarm nuclear missile text was sent out. Yes, Ross and others received this false alarm warning that a ballistic missile threat was inbound after someone hit the wrong button. Whoopsie daisy! We were very frightened. We went to the basement of the hotel. For the Four Seasons, that's gonna protect you from nuclear war. No, but the linens are fabulous! Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no basement low enough. <laughs> Actually, Diana could get a whole new album out of this experience with songs like Torch Me in the Morning, Where Did Our Limbs Go? And of course, I'm coming out of the bomb shelter. The, how long did it take before you were alerted that it was a false alarm? About, what, about a half hour. And it raises so many questions. First off, how did this happen so easily? Yeah, you gotta go through more steps to download a movie on iTunes than you do to send out an alert that there's a nuclear war. God, it takes nine steps to go on Netflix now. Thank you for repeating my joke and making it less funny. It's what he does. Secondly, I want to know what people did in those 38 minutes that they can't ever take back. Oh, who confessed what to who? Seriously, how many times did the words Michael Jackson come up? But most importantly, we need to know. How was it dancing at the Abbey the other day? Yeah, it was good. Now that's how you celebrate the end of the world. So, welcome back, Diana. Glad you didn't get struck by a missile. We're home now and we're all at home. We're TMZ. If you like our vibe, click on that button and hit subscribe. We'll send you more.